We here at the Podcasting Uniquely Stylized System like to honor and commemorate podcasting networks and their shows, especially ones who weren't good enough to win an award. It helps lower podcasting depression. To do this, we offer a yearly look back at all those less fortunate shows over the past year. We do this in a commemorative yearbook. You can find all kinds of great information and quotes as well as memorable moments. Let's look at the giant size team up network. Most likely to own stocks and tiki torches? Breaking the panel. Most likely to be caught dead with a commemorative toy in its original case up their butts. Toy power. Most likely to be the podcast choice for pedophiles. Pokemon Go podcast. Most likely to be what the husband is listening to as the wife is sleeping with the host in the other room. The Blazing Defender Report. Most likely to be too popular for the network. Botched Podcast. Most likely to cause the next world war. Geek Versus. Most likely to be playing at a Gambler's Anonymous. FTH Beyond. We even have awards for distinguished hosts. Most likely to be committed to a psychiatric ward for delusions of grandeur. Charles McFall. Most likely to choke to death while trying to eat 13 chicken wings simultaneously. Charles McFall. Most likely to be racist at any given moment. Charles McFall. Most likely to be struck by their spouse. Charles McFall. Most likely to have an awkward erection. Charles McFall. Most likely to be found passed out drunk in a gym suit. Pokemon Joe. Most likely to have a squealing hog balls deep inside them. Charles McFall. Most likely to get married next. Dennis Robinson and Philip Keating. And finally, most likely to have a heart attack. Dennis Robinson. The podcasting uniquely stylized system's handy outstanding universal network directory is a must-have item. Each network will have them for sale for three easy installments of $29.99 plus shipping and tax. For instance, head on over to www.giantsizeteamup.com today to get your copy. Supplies are limited! Not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. Gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously on Botched. <laughs> we were in a building surrounded by crazy people. Went up on the second or third floor, I can't remember. Put a ladder out the window. They went first. I held the ladder down like a good lad. I started climbing the ladder out the window. All of a sudden, the ladder went forward about six inches. You know, you can tell that. Because the ladder fell, and it was sticking out six inches. So I fell into a crowd of crazed people. They spread around me, and then they bit me. And them black eyes roll over white. And you hear that horrible... <laughs> uh, yes, uh, he died. <laughs> and uh, there was uh, much uh, rejoicing. So uh, we continue to uh, try and survive, uh, finding different places and buildings to get into. Uh, I became gas, and uh, Brian, he ran. Uh, I met a goblin and a couple dwarves, and uh, Brian found a building, and then we went to the bigger building. And everything was covered in goopies, and then a crazy man with no eyeballs, lips, and he's all covered in scratchy scratches. He's he started saying weird things, and then uh, and then he ate all of the goopies. Gabba goop. <laughs> it's gabba goop. <laughs> King gabba goop. King gabba goop. All right, welcome back, listeners, to season three, episode twenty-eight. Uh, we're going to start off where we left off last time, as the no-eyed, no-lipped man is currently imbibing all of the gobba goopies mm. and, uh... That's a good gobba goop Just as a reminder, as, uh, the, the words sort of echo through each of the, uh, characters' heads, so spread the word of the coming cleanse, say goodbye to your loved ones, family, and friends. When the emissary gives the man out of time the crown, in a tidal wave of blood the world will drown, now is the time for you all should run. And for my final act of fun. Like all politicians, he couldn't keep his promise. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The Pine Farm! Hope and change! Hope and change! He eats all the goopies, he just turns into Mayor Seabreeze Danners. Did you find Earl's Farm? We, who are you? I don't understand. I'm Marnie Sanders. That's no. Seabreeze it's Danners. Seabreeze Sanders. <laughs> so, yeah, so he eats all the gobble goopies. And he gets to be about mm, 
about 25 feet tall. Oh, his uh, a big boy. Hands extend to these massive tendrils, and there are tentacle-like appendages shooting out of his back into the ceiling. And uh, his head turns into just maw of teeth, similar to what you would see in like the thing. venom. Eh, no, because it's there's no eyes. It's not a symbiote. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a symbiote. symbiote. With the goop like, crawling all over him. Well, no, he ate it and then it, it, he exploded and turned into a giant goop monster. But um, is there anything? Else? Yeah. So yeah. So he's about twenty-five feet tall, twenty feet tall, something like that. And he, his appendages are all massive and tenderly, and they're just all over the place. Uh, like each limb has its own little tentacles that are. Like branches on a tree or something like that. Uh, I don't think he's going to be friendly. So once, are, are you guys doing anything while he does this? Or are you just staring at it? Or uh, You said that there was like a, a mold on the ground? Yes. What does it look like? It looks like, looks like a sort of, um, it's like a bracelet, but it's way too big for a wrist. So it almost looks like it goes around a neck or something like okay. that. So it's a necklace? <clears throat> But it's not a necklace. Like a choker? Yeah, it's like a choker. Oh. So yeah, what are you guys doing as this is happening? Are you are you just going to wait until he's done? Like a monologuing villain or something like that? Or are you running away? What, what is your plan right now? Um, <clears throat> how long do we think it'll take for him to finish his transformation? Ooh, ten seconds? No. Uh. I set one of the goops on fire as it goes into him. Okay. So, like, as it's passing by, yeah. you're going into Okay. It doesn't catch super fast, it's just going to get smothered out by colliding with a bunch of other goops. So, then, Does that then set all How do you have it on fire? I have a... Your a torch, torch that you put away to play your instrument back in the last yeah. episode? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, don't you know how torches work? Oh, um... They come out on fire. Yeah, his, oh, okay. his new single is straight <laughs> I've played Skyrim. Dog. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's a hot take. Hot singles. It's hot fire. So all right, you fine. Um... I'm probably gonna start walking away. Like I don't, whatever, man. Cool guys, don't yeah. look at explosions, kind of thing. I'm just gonna leave. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm gonna walk backwards and okay. cast create bonfire. Okay. Underneath the guy. Okay. Yeah. What's that do? Okay. Creates a bonfire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but how does it create it under him? Like how big is it? Like I need more details than it's the bonfire. It's a five foot cube. Sorry, a okay. five foot cube. It must succeed on a dex saving throw. Okay. Or take two d eight fire damage. Okay. And the same thing for when it enters the space or tries to leave it. Okay. Is or it no, like... sorry. Yeah, uh, if it enters the space and if it ends the turn there. But since he's transforming, can he do a, a dex check? Yes. Or a dex save? Because it's. It... Like I said, like I said, like all the little, like all of his main oh, okay, appendages yeah, yeah. have like their own. So it's what's the deck save? Uh, fifteen. Yes, he does pass. Okay. So the leg that would be caught under that basically just just basically goes up in him and then pops out the backside. So he just like took like a wide stance. Mm. All right. So yeah, now there's a bonfire underneath him while the rest of him is continue to transform. Mm. Okay. Then I, I moved back. Okay. Back, back, back. Uh, Gerald's gone. He's run away, <laughs> screaming. No, Gerald! Flailing his arms like Kermit the Frog, just running. He's running just like Naruto! As fast as he is dwarvenly possible. I'm going to cast <clears throat> Crown of Madness upon him. Gerald. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to run? Fuck Go you, Gerald. crazy! You come <laughs> back here. <laughs> no, you are mad! Okay. Make a wisdom save. What does Crown of Madness do? He passes it, but what does it do? Just curious. What What was the number you were saving against? I mean, I rolled a 17, I assume. Okay, well, then I, uh, I don't... I don't cast. I... Yep, I failed. What? Okay. Alright. So, alright. Well, that's that's great. Do you have a plus to your... Uh, what's your plus to your uh, wisdom? Why am I... I'm not telling you Just statistics. Tell me this. I'm not telling you <laughs> statistics. <laughs> Why would I tell you that? So I could beat this guy. His we can HP go levels this, and his AC levels this. And okay. <clears throat> it's forty-seven, just for you though. Okay. All of his stats. All of his stats and AC and health. All of it. It's forty-seven. Well, then I'm just gonna make fun of him. Okay. You fucking goo sucker. You fucking. Uh, you have a hot diet of just hot goo. As you walk away, you're just. Yeah. 
just do a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> what does he have to save again? Like What'd you get? I got a 14. You take uh, 5 damage. Okay. And you have disadvantage for your next next attack. Okay. Because I'm, I'm mocking, him, viciously. mocking him as viciously as possible. I'm a transforming goo man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bring me a plate of goo and I'll eat it. Wow, look at me. Single goo tear. <laughs> And then it just gets eaten by his cheek. But it was there for a moment. I thought you were on a diet, Linda. You're stretching out my sweater! See ya, Felicia! Give it back! It's by Felicia, goddammit. No, I don't want to get sued. Oh, you don't want to get sued. Okay. By the internet. What are you doing, Grundlebeard? Um, <laughs> Braiding his grundle. I, Derek, Grumblebeard. Sure, that's your I'm name. I'm going to go to the uh, Crucible. Okay. I'm going to try to ignite it. Because okay. when I'm scared, I try to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll an intelligence check. You've never worked here, right? Yeah, I'm a dwarf. I know how to forge things. It's racial. Sure. 17. You know how to turn it on. Uh, you have to go over to the furnace and, like, light it up, and then, like, you have to... Pump the bellows. Use the bellows, yeah. That whole thing, so... You're going to try to light the forge. Okay. I'm just gonna say you have torch materials, yeah, so I'm you can throw <coughs> throw something in there to at least get a little bit of a flame. Oh baby, <laughs> <laughs> they're super flammable. No, that's comes in the cleanse. And weren't you listening? Oh yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, you got your monologue. Yeah. What okay. about babies? Cleanse. River of blood. I'm assuming that involves babies <laughs> okay. being thrown into forges to save them from the river of blood. <laughs> okay. Look, uh, I've had a lot of politicians try to sell me on the purity platform. Strength, <laughs> strength check the damn bill bellows. Ephraim, I don't know about this grundle beard. <laughs> I kind of like him. Oh, uh, Jesus, <laughs> I got a twelve. Uh, you're 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 up there dorking them, but it's <laughs> dork, 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 you know, fires. Light in the nerds. Yeah. But this torch is still in there. It's oh, still in there. I'll You're not darkening it hard enough. And then Teal'c? Uh, Teal'c's gonna back up and throw a couple stars. Okay. Uh, one I assume is gonna hit, and the other I assume will miss. What do you... What? 13 and 25. The 25 does hit. Four. Seven points of damage. Mm. Okie dokie. Seven damage. It just and bloop, goes in there. As a bonus action, uh, you you look like something that fell out of Grundle's beard. Ha! <laughs> make... <And> dork, <laughs> dork, <laughs> dork. <laughs> Needs to make a wisdom save. Do you have vicious mockery mm -hmm. too? Yeah, it's a racial for. Goblins. He doesn't pass it. You're at double disadvantage. Is Don't even thing? roll. It's just a disadvantage. Seems to have wasted it. <laughs> it should be a cantrip for him. It's cantrip for so it's gonna be so you can do a, you can do an attack and an attack and the uh, vicious mockery is a bonus. Oh right. no, it's not. My bad. I was gonna say. I feel like that's it's like an I thought it was a bonus. It's not. I'm still oh. fat, mm. Dennis. Oh. <laughs> it's cause I ate that frozen pizza, <laughs> <laughs> cardboard pizza. Oh. No. Oh. Why don't we throw more things at Dennis? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's just knives everywhere for some reason. <laughs> Beer we, bottles. We show I wish up I had, next week with just pocket knives. <laughs> I wish I had stored all my knives in this room. <laughs> I brought my bag of broken glass. <laughs> <laughs> no. I sharpened all these nickels. I want to save the environment, but I still want to throw this at you, so I'm going to cut it up first. Continue on your monologue. Okay, well, no, it's more asking me what you're doing. Magic item, Grail of Tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's salty. All right, so you've said a mean thing. It doesn't mean anything because you're not actually casting that spell, but you said a mean thing because yeah. you're uh, walking, running away? Skipping my, my movement. Galloping. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll walk half my movement back, so 25 feet. Okay. Uh, initiative. I got a 21. <clears throat> Derek got a 17. 13. Do you remember you used to do that for the first, like, three episodes? Karen Dole <laughs> got a 13. Karen Dole is going upstairs. Teal, what you get? 24. 24. Karen Dole gets a beer. Was it helpful? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the monster goes first, because he crit 20 Uh, He is going to lumber towards your group, and he is going to attack... 
I guess it would be Brian and... Why don't you roll D4? Brian, Brian did uh, mock him. <clears throat> yeah. And Derek is only working. Yeah, he's dorking. He's, 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 he's just dorking it. Uh, Everybody's so dorking for dwarf the work, weekend. Dwarfish working. Dwarfish Ephraim. working. Brian and Ephraim. Ugh. Dwarfs at work. Dorks. It's the sign that you see. He's going to miss Ephraim, but he's going to hit Brian. I didn't know we had such a tight relationship that he would miss me. You take 14 <laughs> damage. There's a whole oh bunch of boy. these little, like, black spiny things just, yeah, hit you in the back as you're running. That's not good for me. Yeah. Okay, I'm still up. <laughs> so yeah, that's his turn, because he just lumbered a couple steps towards you guys. And then it will be Teal'c. Uh, um, Teal'c. Okay. okay. I'm going to move into range. Okay. Yeah, why not? Two, two hits with a spear. Okay. That's going to miss. That's also going to miss. Okay. Well, the highest was a 14. No. Use a key point to use fangs of the fire snake. Okay. So my hands and feet turn into fire. Okay. And attack again using another key point, use a flurry of blows. I use different key 20s Can That's you use as many as you want in a turn? Yeah, unless it says as a use a bonus action. But aren't each one of them like an action? No. Nope. They're not. I can nope. use as many as I have actions for. But wouldn't you only have... One well, standard action? Attack so action. Use, yeah. use a key point to do this. Mm -hmm. Use a key point to use a bonus action to do this. Mm -hmm. They're different things. Okay, but you just did like three things. Yeah, I remember I used to do attack and then flurry of blows and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Attack, flurry of blows. We did like an attack, key point. then he did flurry of blows and another attack. Because you did the flamey fist thing, right? Yeah, that's not an attack. Oh, it's not an attack, it's just, it just changes the thing. It's not even a bonus, it just turns my oh, hands okay. and feet okay. into fire till the end of the turn. Okay, that's fine. So first flurry is gonna hit. Is it? I got twenty-seven. Yes, it is. And a twenty-two. Yes. Sixteen, and I'm gonna spend two more key points to add D ten for each of these. How many do you have left? I'll have three left. Oh, okay. I'll have uh, two left after this. Oh, okay. Six. 15 points of fire plus another 11 points of fire, so 27. Mm -hmm. Anything else? But that's it. Okay. Okay. So you punch him with these flaming, like, the, the snake hands, snake hands right? Um, tendrils of flame sure. that stretch out 10 yeah. feet. So your, your fists have these, like, flaming vipers <laughs> that coil around your arms, and then you throw a punch, and it shoots about 10 feet and hits the, the creature, and... It definitely does not like that as a bunch of the goo like eats gets eaten away and then uh, other tendrils sort of come out and try and put out its own fire, that sort of thing. Um, it takes a... It does not like that very much. And it makes like a really audible squealing noise that is almost <laughs> deafening. So everyone do a con check. Con check or con save? Con save. 18. No difference for me, so 21. 19. What'd you get, Brian? I botched. Oh. Uh -oh. <coughs> there go your legs. You just gonna throw Dead. up on the ground. <laughs> yeah, your fingers shatter because the pitch tunes shrieked. Uh, my legs uh, start shaking. <laughs> like two forks. Oh, or like a glass with a sure. straw in it, yeah. Uh, you're deaf for right now. Huh? Forever. All you hear is beep. You have what? tinnitus. Yeah, now nah, I get your joke. Ha ha, you fine. How will I know it's my turn? I mean, I'll point at you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You're not deaf in real life. <laughs> what? Phil, how are the audio levels? Phil. Phil. Phil, how are the audio levels? That's why we got a one-star <laughs> review, because our sound guy's deaf. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great to me, guys. Sounds <laughs> really good. They're definitely talking. <laughs> yeah, I can see their mouths moving, and I see the, the lines going up and down, so there's something. They're just covering their mouths, so I can't see <laughs> yeah. I hate this guy. Why did we put him on the show? So, what are you doing? Oh, I don't sorry. think it likes fire. You know. uh, it's me. Yep, it is Ephraim. Uh, so, I cast on my random table for my final third level spell, and I got Lightning Bolt. All right. And Stinking Cloud, but I'm going to do Lightning Bolt first. Okay. So, and it has to make a dex save. It does. Okay. So, it takes... 16 damage. So that's after the half? Or? That's after the okay. half. I already halved it. 16 damage. Because so it was going to take 33. 
So a bolt of lightning shoots out of you. It's this thing in the middle-ish section, and it, it seems to scorch it. It doesn't burn it, but it scorches it a bit. What are you scared okay. of? Uh, and then the <laughs> second Christ. spell uh, is Stinking Cloud. Okay. And this thing is how large? About 25, 20, 25 feet tall. Tall? Uh, does it just, is it in He's about one? a 20, 25 footer. How about, how, what is his radius around him? How big is he? Uh, <laughs> I would s- uh, like how many? Span? So like, a normal creature takes up a five foot radius. Uh, I would say this takes up about a 20 foot radius. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna cast right underneath him. Okay. Uh, stink face. Stinking stink cloud. Now. Okay. And What's that deal? it has to make a con save against poison. What if he's immune to poison? The start of its turn. It's immune to poison? Mm -hmm. Then I cancel the spell. <laughs> <laughs> Not b b then breathe. <laughs> Either. Uh, make you smell. I don't see nostrils. Hog. Never mind. Fizzle. And uh, I'm going to move backwards. Okay. Run away. <laughs> Run, Run away. away. Uh, Gerald is going to go up next, and he's going to keep on running. Gerald, we need your assistance. He f he's so slow. He's Work with me, Gerald. He gets, t <laughs> he gets tired. <laughs> after. Gerald, we need you to help with the dork. He's, he's oh. literally... <sighs> <sighs> He's very fat. He's very <laughs> fat and out of shape. He did not anticipate running today, so... How do you survive the zombie apocalypse with no cardio? He also had friends on ladders, apparently. It's rule one. It was his room you guys were hiding in. Yeah. He actually uh, never left. He, he, he was no playing happening. Warcraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. I'm surprised he made the jump. The light speed. <laughs> <laughs> the light speed? <laughs> she can make it 0.5 past life speed. Uh, life speed. It's, <laughs> uh... Like Grundle? Grundlebeard? Derek. Derek Grundlebeard. Alright, so. Grumble. I'm gonna try to uh, persuade. Jerry. Jerry. Gerald. Mm -hmm. To come dork with me. He's. I'm gonna see if he can even hear you because he's so far away at this point. He's only gone like 60 feet. Yeah. And there's a screaming monster. And he's running. And he's breathing heavily. But he heard you. So. What? Mr. Forge! Yeah! Come help me light this forge! I don't wanna! We need to light the forge! <laughs> um, Pers uh, persuasion? Persuasion is charisma. So I got 19. Persuasion is charisma. He stops. He keels over. Like he does the thing where he puts his hands on his thighs. <sighs> Fuck. You're a dwarf. Do you want to die working or do you want to die running? He, he picks up a shovel and just starts <laughs> walking back towards the forge. <laughs> Not All sure right. what he's going to do with his shovel, he's but he's, right. he's walking back. <laughs> yep. So, yep, so he, that's what he's now doing. All right, I'm going to try to uh, dork the forge open again. Dork the forge, all right. Dork the forge. Dork the forge! Dork the forge! You hear uh, in the distance the guards people screaming, Dork the forge! <laughs> dork the forge! I got a six. No. You know, unless it's athletics, in which case I got an eight. It is athletics, but uh, it's uh, not really doing anything. Your torch is getting dimmer. Because it's just kind of hanging out on the All floor. Right. Um, it's not going out, but it's just a little dimmer. I'm going to try to, for my move, I'm going to try to put some more flammable stuff on the torch. Like what? Your shirt. Like another torch. My shirt? Yeah. <laughs> Take my shirt <laughs> off. Okay. You just get naked, throw all your clothes in there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, die like a strong dwarf. It puts all the torch. Die it puts I the live. torch out because they're just wet, just covered in sweat and goo from the. Uh... Dwarf sweat is flammable, actually. It is because uh, well... it's so high in alcohol. Oh, okay. <laughs> and all that monster goo that was shot yeah, all over which you is guys. also flammable. Also flammable. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so they they do catch slowly. Yeah. So you're you're all now right. naked. That's what I'm doing. Dwarf in the forge. <laughs> <laughs> Balls flapping up and down in the wind. Check to my knees. <laughs> I'm 200. <laughs> okay. He's teabagging the dirt. <laughs> Get over here, Gerald. Well, hold these that. up for me <laughs> with the shovel. That's Give why I brought the shovel to make me pull harder. Then it's Brian. I cast Cloud of Daggers. Okay. Not a bad Where's, one. Huh? I said that's not a bad one. Where's the the weakness? 
That's not how cloud attackers work. Yeah. It's in your heart, so no. you should cast it you on got, yourself. You got any fiery spells? No, I don't. No. Fairy fire? That doesn't that's do good. fire <laughs> damage. Yeah. Well, that's to make people flaming. Fairy fire. Bing, you gay. <laughs> Bing, you gay. I like dick all of a sudden. <laughs> God, I just gotta get some dick in my life. <laughs> Mine's not cutting it. Its tendrils just go right <laughs> through the dicks. Just you need to have a toenail on uh, the dick. Uh, <laughs> this is what the goop wanted. Give me that goop. I need more goop. Man dick. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I cast it around, let's say, its throat area. Okay. And what does it do? It takes five slashing damage. But I mean, like, is it like making daggers just come out? Yeah, it's, it's a five by five cube. What did you okay. roll? Two d four. Why? It's four d four. It's six d four. Plus, if, that's right. If, if you no. use casting it at third, it's not third level. Oh, okay. Uh, out of curiosity, four. like when cloud of daggers ends, like just outside of things, like are there just like a bunch of daggers then laying on the ground, or they ju they just disappear? I guess they just disappear. Okay. It doesn't say they stay. Okay. Nine damage. Ooh, nine damage. <laughs> Mm, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Okay, you do that. There's daggers around it. Doesn't really seem to mind it too much. Oh, uh, and it's gonna unless it gets all out of the the radius, it's gonna take that damage every turn. Correct. For the next I'm gonna give you a cloud of daggers here in a second. Right up your old poop shoot. Well, then I get out of range of it. It's a goop shoot. <laughs> it's a goop shoot. <laughs> you get can't him. take his <laughs> joke. <laughs> give me your goop shoot. Give me that goop shoot. Okay, so then that's the... Are you, and I'm going to mock it on the way out. Okay. You're just making fun of him. Goop shoot, goop shoot. Man, man, man. That's what they called me in school. That's because it's true. Oh. You came out of your mom's goop shoot. Season three of 13 Reasons Why. Just kidding. Canceled. <laughs> he kills himself. You were a C-section, so you were a takeaway baby. They took you away. You I were was, never born. I you were never born. You were taken. Wow. Well. Pregnancy gatekeeping. That's a whole new low. <laughs> That's shitty. All right, so monster's One turn. star. <laughs> monster's turn. The monster. He's going to go for teal, and my guess would be, yep, Brian. So it takes another 4d4 since okay. it started its turn in the cloud of daggers. And he's going to move through it too, but yeah. He won't end his turn. My daggers get an attack of opportunity. Sure. <laughs> no, it's no, not that's how it works. That what is your 44? AOE spell check ass. <laughs> two. <laughs> two? Four. You rolled 44 oh, and you got a two. How did you get <laughs> magic? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got two. Magic. <laughs> two dice? Four dice? Only got two. Yep. <laughs> 11. He's using those uh, Betrayal House on the Hill dice that have zero sides. <laughs> oh, great. It's negative. Mm -hmm. uh, I heal him for three points of health uh, with my daggers. Be healed! Teal, what's your AC? 19. Uh, you're gonna get hit once. Unless they're herpes. For 14 damage. And then. Brown. Brown. He's gonna Brown. miss as all. Oh, wait, what's your AC? 16. Or actually, he crit, sorry, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. No, uh, he misses just barely. So, you see all these, like. Tendrils like shoot into the ground right behind you. They they put holes in your pants because he was going for your goop shoot, but couldn't get it. Couldn't get it this time. And he's I like, gonna, oh, yeah, I'm never gonna get it. Oh. Never gonna get it. You know never how that story. Get it, never gonna get it. You're gonna get raped. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how that story. Ends. Oh. <laughs> no, not this time. Never that's not the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the just of the, the climax. And Fisherman's then he, wife too, the retentacling. Oh god. He's moved through the cloud of daggers, so now he won't be in it anymore as he's continuing to. How pursue. fast does he move? He moves pretty fast. He's got a big big gate. Five feet per second. What? Thing's only five 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 five, five cubes, so. Oh yeah, no, that yeah, he steps right through that. Um so then it will be Teal'c. Brian, did you maintain concentration? It doesn't matter. Uh probably, yeah. Because he missed me. Yeah. Good. Uh, Can I move it? Two spear attacks. No. I don't, I don't think so. And it's not a concentration spell. Yeah, it is. Concentration one minute. God damn it. Don't touch me. Two misses, so don't I'm going to back me. up 50 feet. Okay. And if he would get an AOO, I'll use a bonus action to disengage. He won't get an AOO. 
Okay. So. so I still have my reaction. Okay, so you're about 50 feet away then? Yep. Okay. Then, um... So wait, so are you throwing spears at him or are you jabbing him and then running away? Jabbing at him. Okay, just checking. Then running away. Okay, then it will be Ephraim. So I rolled on my random spell table okay. for a different level of spell. And okay. I've got Scorching Ray. Okay. So I'm going to shoot three fire rays at him. Oh, nice. Ooh, let's see what happens. Toasty. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Twelve. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. Sixteen. Was this to... Attack. Oh, yeah, none of this hit. <laughs> this is... Uh, it moves out of the way. Like, well, that, yep, yep, yep. that sucks. Okay, I'm going to continue moving backwards. <laughs> oh, well, that fucking sucks. Oh, boy. Uh, then it'll be... You, Grundlebeard. Um, Has Gerald gotten here yet? Uh, Yes, he has made it to the... Well, actually, let me double... Yeah, he's 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 out of breath. He's very very out of breath, but he's is there. Is he assisting me in Dork in this forge? Well, there's two billows, so he'll do one. You can do the other. Bellows. Bellows. Sorry. Yeah. No, they're actually pillows. Pillows. Pillow billows. Pillows. Yeah. All right. I got a twelve. He also got a twelve. So you're you're doing it a little bit. Uh, so the the flames are being you know fanned a bit. Mm -hmm. They're building a little, but it's not enough to start the whole, ah. whole process. I mean, these flames haven't been on in quite a while. Hey, so. Grumblebeard! Come on, Gerald! Dork harder! I'm sorry. I'll dork harder. Dork as hard as I can. Then it will be... Dork it harder! Make it better! Alright, I take my torch out. Okay. <laughs> and I light faster. it. Okay. Light that fire. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot my crossbow through the fire. I'm gonna light my... Bolt on fire. Your Prince of Thievesings? I've never seen that Kevin Costner movie. Oh boy. So I light my bolt. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna shoot him in the throat. Okay. Ish area where throat would be. Okay. I'm gonna say minus one. Because you went ish. What do you mean ish? You said throat ish area. Well, I don't. Does he have a throat as a I mean, he has a blue? humanoid ish. I'm just gonna shoot the motherfucker. <laughs> okay. 23. Yeah, hits. Shoot that motherfucker. Seven damage. Okay. And is the goo on fire? Uh, it catches, but the rest of it puts itself out. All these right. are, these fires are all too small. But it didn't like it. It was very unhappy. And I'm going to back up. It makes another one of those screaming noises. I'm just going to keep backing up. Okay. Back that ass, back that ass up. Because he's going to get it. He gonna get it on his turn. Gonna he gonna I'm get not it. gonna let you get it. Oh, he gonna get oh, it. Gonna get he's it. probably not gonna, he gonna get it. He gonna get all up in your goop he's shoes. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get you. Mm -hmm. No, not this time. Oh, look, it's his turn. All right, so he is solely focused on Brian right now. Reaction. Okay. Do I get a reaction? No. <laughs> I mean, you can sure have you a reaction to it. Like, <laughs> a, huh, yeah, that could be a reaction. Hit. Hit. Okay. So a whole mess of these tentacles are coming right for your goop shoot. Twelve. So... 20 23. Twenty-three damage. Yeah. That's the whole bunch of these little black tentacles come and start hitting you in the back. <laughs> Going right up your goop shoot. You're so fast. And I fall over limp on the ground. Okay. And then the, the tentacles are slowly starting to, like, wrap around you and, like, pull you towards him. So, just FYI. He's going to eat you with his teeth, Ma. Yeah. Well, keep working that forge, Grundlebeard. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> you have weapons. No, I don't. I'm naked. I had a better idea, but anyway. And you have Pyro Blast as a cantrip. Oh, okay. A uh, Teal. Uh, Teal's gonna use a keel, a keel point, a key point to do the uh, fangs of the fire snake again. Okay. And then I guess move up and whip it and nay nay it. Mm. Okay. Ooh. 17 on the die for the first attack, and 15 on the die, so it's 25 yeah, and 23. Hit. Yep, yep. 17 points of fire damage. Okay. And disengage. Okay. He's not happy about Backing that. Back that ass up. 50 feet. Okay. Then it will be. Ephraim. Yeah, Alright, so uh, I random cast Magic Missile. 
Okay. Um, and I'm going to try and hit the mass of tentacles that are attacking Brian. Okay. I'm trying to bring him in. Okay. No! Not my friend! <laughs> not my Brian! Hashtag not all Brian's! 17 damage. Okay. So yeah, you shoot these missiles out, and they they hit the, the tendrils, and they, they shatter, but they're just being replaced. Beginning attack run on tentacle arm. Fairly quickly. <laughs> okay. I am done. Okay. Then it'll be... Grundlebeard. Derek Grundlebeard. God damn it, Gerald. <laughs> like this forge. I'm working on it. I'm doing it. I got I'm a doing 23. It, Derek. Yeah, he got a 20. So, and the flames all of a sudden they roar as they burst out of the front of the forge, and now it's it's lighting the uh, crucible the crucible up. So, and What's it's starting to turn red. No idea. What's in the? All right. So my second the box thing I do. I want to look at what's the, in the box. I want to look at the tentacles. Mm -hmm. There's a mold there. Yeah. I want to look at it. I okay. expect it maybe open it. I don't know. I mean, it's laying open. It looks like, it look a like a collar. We, yeah, we said it looked like a shit. Like a <laughs> neck collar. <laughs> neck collar. Do it. Do it now. There is a pile of, like, metal in the corner, so, I mean, you can just start tossing metal into the crucible. I'm doing that. Okay. Strength. Athletics. I'll go athletics. Strat 20. Strat athletics. Nat 20? Crit 20, baby. Nice. You're just... It's like a dog digging in the dirt. It's just like these little... Derek, do you, do you manage to double. come around and grab the two rapiers and great axes that are in my pack? Yeah. All right, good. No. No, <laughs> no he didn't. No. Um, no, we're going to get rid of them. Gerald managed to throw one piece of ore into the yeah, crucible. I'm, I'm throwing them like uh, the dwarves doing dishes in The Hobbit. Yeah. Because... Exactly. Why not? So throw then, it into the... Cast it into the fire. So then it'll be in... Cast the, it into the fire. It's going to be the monster's turn. And... He, you can all hear him grumble out. Um, what was one of the insults you gave him? Goo mat, goo butt, goo sucker, goo sucker. He's like, goo sucker. <laughs> and so the tentacles are just lifting <laughs> right in the air slowly. <laughs> Meanwhile, this other appendage seems to be growing from between its legs. <laughs> and then, and then he boots Another you on hand, the nose, right? and you wake up. And then he waves at you. Uh -huh. And then <laughs> Hold you, on! You, do I get do I get anything? You're currently completely encased in tentacles, but I, I still have a mouth. Sure, you could whatever you could think of. I cast Tiny Hut. Tiny Hut? No, it's a minute it's casting. It take, takes a minute. Yeah. <laughs> that that would yeah. Be perfect. <laughs> otherwise it's yeah, that's a broken spell otherwise. Go <laughs> fuck yourself, you goo fuck. So like those roller coaster <laughs> rides where you, you're just cresting over the hill, you start to tilt downwards face first. <laughs> <laughs> and is that like, it? Is that all you got? And you're fucking dead. And your mom had a bigger goo dick than that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen bigger goo dicks on goblins. And they're goblin chihuahuas. And they're goblin chihuahuas. Keep picking up dice, you goo fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you dumb dumb goo fuck! That's a lot of D6. You dead. That's not D6, it's D10. Wait, so how much health did I come back with? One. Oh. I'd say, you're <laughs> you dead. He just brought you back. You're dead. Yeah, so, if anyone hasn't seen the chimpanzee and the frog <laughs> oh, video, no. it's essentially no. what happens to Brian. Oh god. As he just repeatedly does that and then goes go shoot and just shoots you off the tip it's splattering just like you onto the wall and you're just like a torn up mangled mess covered in goo goo sucker <laughs> and then he just starts moseying on towards the rest of the group with a big smile in his maw he seems to be much happier now and as he meanders towards the rest of the group we're going to take a break alright you thought last week's ad was fast I'm going to break that record. Okay. Let me loosen up my tongue here. Get this. All right. Head on over to patreon.com slash botch podcast and subscribe today. Time! Boom! Nailed it! Nailed it! Woo! Count it! And we're back. And we're I'm back, 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 back. Playing Gerald now. Okay. So then it is, uh, Teal'c. Yeah, I guess I'll waste my last key point. Okay. Do my fire feet. 
Okay. With a natural 20. Nice. <laughs> and a 26. So 21 points of fire damage. Okay. And I'm going to keep backing that ass up. All right. Toward the forge. Use a fine motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Who's Back that letter. lady? What? Who is that lady? Who is that lady over there? Who is that lady? All right, so then it's My Ephraim. name's Derek. <laughs> I'm just naked. <laughs> a random cast in for my last second level spell. I got the Scorching Ray. Oh, you got it again. Yes. Nice. Let's see right, if it hits hit again. This time. Yes, that would be good. Okay. Uh, I got a nine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Miss. So no. And then, uh, how about a 22 Hits. and a 23? Hits. Okay. 14 fire damage. Right. And I also will join Tilk in backing that ass up. To the forge. To the forge. Oh, so wait. Oh, so you're now changing directions and going the other way? You guys were heading towards the exit. Forge is back where you guys were started. Mm. Is that what you're saying? I mean, there's a bunch of mini forges all over the place, but the main forge, main the one forge that is crucible of fire, that the, they're dorking. So you're heading back through the creature towards the forge. Oh, is that where they are? Well, that's where you guys all started. Was that forge? I thought it was in the corner. Yeah, of that room. This is why I want a battle map, Dennis. What did I said? The forge was there. I don't, I, I'm drinking. What do you want? <laughs> doesn't do the map. I told you I'm, that's where you were. I'm not drinking. It still doesn't make sense. I'm on drugs. That does not make sense. That is the room you started in. He never left the room. The other guy ran away and then had to come back. Did we leave the room? Yes, you guys all said all right, you ran I'm away. Keep running towards the exit. Fuck it. Okay. Did to you the, guys not to say the you exit? Ran away? No. Where did you guys? Where have you guys? You said them backing was, up I towards, I was towards the going exit. Towards were, the forge. Just we were backing up in general. We were backing up in general. Nobody Which said. is towards, I mean, that's the Nobody direction. Nobody said I exit. turn around and run out. Oh, okay. Well, backing up is towards the exit, so I mean. Backing that ass up. Still towards the towards exit. Towards the exit. Okay. Then it will be the two dwarves uh, pumping the billows. Do I have a plus to my. Uh... Plus one. Alright. Not even trained in athletics. Six. Twenty. Uh, one half of you is cranking it real good with, or sorry, dorking it. You're dorking it real good. The Dork other one it is. to the limit. Gerald. Gerald's so tired. Why? What's our end game here? This was all your idea. <laughs> I'm kind of tired now, so I'm not freaking out. Uh, he doesn't seem to like fire. I understand that concept. <laughs> How do we make this into that? <laughs> This was your plan. <laughs> I was going to leave. <laughs> I mean, so far. You stopped me from leaving. Dwarf's plan. <laughs> Dwarfs so, fly together. <laughs> so basically, you're successful in a plan that you don't have. Is that what I'm getting, or do you actually have a plan? I mean, if we could get him to come at us. <laughs> Bro. What was the point of doing this? You've sealed me into my own death. I was wasn't yeah, thinking. You mold, I am now a mold for death. <laughs> well, get him to come at us. I was gonna go back to my room where you all just showed up for some reason. You want me to summon him? <laughs> summon him. <laughs> hey, goo dick. That seemed to work before. Roll. Come, come stand in the fire that we've started. Come at it. Come at me, bro. Come at him, bro. Is a point to. Roll persuasion? Plus what? <laughs> Two. <laughs> More persuasive than I am. <laughs> You're fat. 19. And out of shape. <laughs> Goo dick stops in his tracks <laughs> and turns around. Well, he doesn't even have to turn around. Like, his features just, like, go the opposite kind of, direction. Yeah. yeah. He just reverses himself. His face starts, disappears on our set. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is he doing? And I point to Grundlebeard. He can't see you. But he hears you, so he, he turns around and starts trundling that way. Come here! I got a fire for you to stand in! He turns back around. <laughs> Don't I, say that. Oh, oh, hold on! JK! Just come here real quick! Oh, okay. I want to tell you a joke. Oh, I love jokes. Everyone loves jokes. Okay, so that's the anyway, door. Yeah. So then it's the monster's turn. He will uh, manage to move the entire way back to the 
to the forge room, essentially the main forge room, and just see you guys. Yeah, I thought you didn't see. <laughs> well, he <laughs> he's got you there, fuck Senses me. you guys. <laughs> Maybe he's like Daredevil. Daredevil can't see, but he can still Never see. Never seen it. I know. <laughs> He's blind, but can still see using sound oh, like a bat. Cool. Uh, sounds great. Goo man. <laughs> the goo man group. <laughs> I made you a hat. Come and get it. It's not your turn, but oh, whatever. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm just curious. My turn. You said he came to us. <laughs> he did, looking at he us. came to the room and he's looking at you confused. Okay, got it. But that's, that's his turn. So then it is Teal'c. He would use full move action to move to the forge. Okay. So now Assuming you're it's less than 100 feet away. Yes. To however many rooms it takes. Okay. Done. So you, you get there. All right. Be F ready to help me, brother. Oh, no, now I'm your brother. do we have to, like, go past the monster? Go round it. I'll go round the outside. Well, you won't round be able to go outside. past him now round because he's gone back as well. So. I will move... Closer, and then hold action, cast a spell. Okay. I'm gonna hold the action. <laughs> okay. I don't know what sound that was. Okay. I don't know. No, that's fine. <laughs> so then it's the two dwarves fucking around at the billows. You say to him, What? I have a hat. Come here, I made you a hat. <laughs> Persuasion? Uh, my skills that I am proficient in. Oh, yeah. 23. He's he's moving at you <laughs> <laughs> currently. So, yes. Um, so I'm going to get behind the crucible. Okay. Get ready to pour all the molten metal on him when he comes near me. Okay. Okay. And Is then, that uh, something I can do? You, we'll, have you, we'll have you strengthen you. Uh, Gary Busey. Sorry, Gerald's game. Yep. You try to what are you doing? To Bellowing. tell Gerald that's the plan without saying it, perform, look at the thing with him. You can roll performance, performance. and you would roll insight. Insight's only for lying. That's to We've gone over this before. That's to determine the... Do I have a plus to, to insight? I got a 10. Uh, one. I got a 12. You got a 10, you said? Yeah. I Average, that's like an average. Sure. You. I mean, he does, he does just a bucket movement. He just does a bucket movement. I understand. And that. then you get bucket movement. I point at the crucible and I make a bucket <laughs> movement. <laughs> Bleh. Bleh. Sure, I get it. Okay. So are you moving over there with him? Yeah, okay. of course. So you're both over there. Then it'll be the monster's turn. Who? Yeah, you fat goopy fuck. Come get your crown. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving there. Are you... Ephraim is your... Only one of you is gonna live. Your held action? I don't know what... Uh, I random for. cast spells and one of them is completely useless. Okay. It's fucking color spray. But he then the other see. one, yeah, it's already blind, so who oh, gives okay. a shit? Uh, the other one is chromatic orb. That's a fun one. Yeah. Could even be fire damage. It could. Uh, seventeen. No. Seventeen doesn't hit. No. Nope. Wait. Oh, I'm eighteen. Yes. Yeah. Cold damage. Okay. How much? 13 cold damage. I right. hurl an icicle. Alright, you shoot an icicle hey, at Hey, goopy man, chill out. He didn't like it's it. It's a snowball. Okay. You're it. Yeah, it hit him. It did stuff. <laughs> it didn't seem to make him as mad as the fire does, but okay. Or us calling him goo dick. <clears throat> yeah, he's gonna go for both of you guys. So did you have like a ready to action to like try and pour it, or... Because he's reaching around the crucible trying he to does. get you guys. Okay. Gerald? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, we would be doing the Athletics. same thing, Athletics? No? And I'll assist, so you get advantage. No, it's just the average of you two rolling, but whatever. Right. And you said it was plus one? Yes. Okay. What'd yeah, 22. 22. 19. Okay, so you both managed to turn <laughs> over as he's, like, reaching around and, uh... He's like, oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> hey, goo dick, trying to get oh. that goo. It pours the molten lead all over the place, and it, it runs out, and it immediately makes contact with his like leg-like appendages, mm -hmm. and they immediately catch on fire and starts to move up. Yeah. Pretty quickly as he's trying to put it out with like little teeny tiny tentacles. But that's how we dork. That's how we dork. That's how we dork downtown. <laughs> 
All right, so yeah, so that did a good bit of damage as he's screaming in agony and tendrils and tentacles are sort of shooting out in every direction and the ground is rumbling. Uh, Can I mock him? Yeah, <laughs> bang. <laughs> on your turn. Uh, and then that'll that'll basically just be his action is trying to put out fire but doing a poor job of it. So then it will be... Teal'c. Teal'c's going to move away from the molten metal. Good assume, call. Assume it wasn't all lead. Uh, why? Because they said I was throwing a pile of metal in it. Yeah, there's no lead, but... Well, you just said it was lead. You said molten lead. Did I say molten lead? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't even remember hearing myself say that word. Just molten metal. Move away from that. All metal is lead. I'm going to throw a couple of stars at him. Okay. Because, I mean, metal. otherwise we could have made a Zeppelin. No, no, no. <laughs> 27 it's and a botch. Okay. Trip into the metal. <laughs> Trip into the metal. <laughs> oh. Uh. 69. 69. After I already moved away from it. Farewell, T. T- look, we barely knew you. <laughs> Are you going to high low him? Yeah. See if he dies or just something bad happens. High or low? Pick one. <laughs> can put, Is there a coin? That was always wrong. I pick high. So you go to step backwards, and there was like a weird gooey banana peel there, and you actually slip and then land on it and slide forwards right into the metal. It was a gooey duck? Yep, it was a gooey duck. So you slide right into the molten metal and burn to death. (laughs) Does he slide past me? Uh, Can I like have a chance to... We do usually get a... Sure, sure, sure. Dex. Yeah. I rolled a really high number. But yeah, you can can roll dex uh, to try and catch him. Uh, I don't. Okay. I doubt a six. No. Am I near? No, you're in the exact you're opposite direction. Right. Right. Sure so yeah, things. you reach your arm out, but he just goes right no, on by you. Great. And goes right into the metal. Bloop. And lights on going, fire. And I was going to write so many stories about you. <laughs> and you burn to death. <laughs> He's like Anakin Skywalker. He just, yep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are actually rules for lava and molten metal, FYI. Okay. For next time. Okay. Little goblin. Goodbye. Um, so then it would be Ephraim? Well, this is going well. <laughs> if Brian had, were here, he would have sung a song about a lake of fire and fry. But What? You don't know him. Oh, well, yeah, Brian's dead. I forgot. Down, down, you don't know down, what he does. And the flames <laughs> got higher. <laughs> mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> and the goo duck burns, burns, burns. Everything is Still on fire. <laughs> Goblins on fire. So it's just <laughs> the NPCs and me and the goo monster. Wait, so hold on. Did he f- slide all the way in? You can't just like... Because then you make his character... In season two, lose like a foot or leg because it was. He got real close and then his feet touched and then he lost his feet. But I, I'm saying because the number was that high that he. So he slips and falls on the ground just as one of the tentacles of the creature shoots out and frog tongues him or chameleon tongues him and hits him and then just zips him right into the molten metal. Oh, good thing goblins can regenerate limbs. This is the eleventh copy. Oh, brain stems <laughs> <laughs> and skeletal structure. I think I have goblin hair. He'll regrow. It's like Groot. Just plant Keep it. him in mm-hmm. pocket. So, what are you doing, Ephraim? I guess I'll random cast a spell. Okay. Hey, goo monster. <laughs> Bing. You gay? Not <laughs> 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 again. It's just my game. <laughs> no. College all over again. It's fairy fire. Mm. Okay, what's that do? Nothing. It illuminates him in purple. Okay, so now he's and a big. Uh, Everyone gets advantage. Make it. Leave it's a dex okay. save. Yeah, make a dex save. Uh, he's gonna have disadvantage because he's putting burning up. alive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Uh, he passed. I rolled a crit twenty and an eighteen. Yeah, I So at least it wasn't a crit twenty. That's but, good. But yeah, so he passed. All right, well. Nothing happened. He okay. glowed for a bit. Glowed for a bit. He glued. Okay. Uh, he glued. Well, this is great and all. 
Are you gonna dive in like? Do you fire? have actual spells? I'm just curious. Yeah, I do. Okay. They're all just they're all just support spells. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> so just I, checking. It's kind of awful because <laughs> I don't have any. I'm, I'm not. No. no. Fuck it, it's a tiny hut. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, just wait it out. <laughs> do you have support items that would like interact with anything else? Like they don't have to be damaging. Uh, but. Mage hand. Can you mage hand fifteen pounds of molten metal into his face? Yeah. Frostbite. Eat it. Create Eat it. bonfire. Eat it. Identify, find familiar. Shield, mage armor. Alter self. Locate obje- object. Mirror image. Tiny hut. <laughs> Water breath. And. Uh, could you create, create another bonfire Featherfall. while he's burning and for more fire damage? I mean, I already cast a spell. Mm, but okay. Yeah. Okay, well then it's the two dwarves. I guess we'll high five and call it a, <laughs> <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> um, are there big pieces of metal that I could like throw at him? If you sure. guys like hit the bellows at the right time, we'll just like shoot a flamethrower at the Yeah, thing. does that work? Uh, if you put something in for... Okay, so, like, so you, like, could, you could... Because the crucible is tilted towards the creature. Yeah. And they, there might be some of the residual there. So, so if we heat it, it'll splash on them. Maybe? You could do that. Or you could just disengage one of the bellows and, like, move it so that it's pointing at the fire. So it would almost, like, blow it, I guess. I do that. Strength? I help. Plus one. I got a 21. I assist him. <laughs> <laughs> So Gerald tries to pick it up. That's like, like I got a twenty-three. But he's he's a sad panda. So then uh, Grundlebeard manages <sighs> to dislodge the bellow. It's best to work naked. And then <laughs> moves it around to the to the side of the, the place where the flame is uh, is ignited. And he just aims it. He props it up and aims it right at the fire. And then you both can. Now I would say you probably want to put some fuel on the fire just so that it, it gets even more. Yeah. Crazy. I throw my clothes on to the fire. <laughs> just, Attaboy! It definitely goes out now. It's just sopping wet with cum. Uh, I rip my pubes out one by one. <laughs> They're very dry. It's like the... Uh, They're like straw. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's like the thing in Back to the Future 3 where he throws the colored thread. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like he puts a banana <laughs> peel in the... In the... He thro- no, he throws those, those different colored thread bro- blocks into the, the train and then it makes it go faster. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's your pubes. Okay. Your pubes are colored um, thread. I mean, also, <laughs> oh, is there maybe some like stuff on the floor that we could just throw? Yeah, there's like okay. different types of fuel lying around in the corners. Like some sort of liquid fuel? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Okay. So you go over there and you, you toss it on the Okay, as much fire. as I can and okay. still have someone use the bellows. It, it doesn't explode, but it bursts. Yeah. The, the flames are should... crazy high at this point. So I'm going to say that's all you can do on that particular turn because that was a lot of... Okay, well, we're behind the firewall and the monster. So yes. Good. So then it will be back around to the monster, who is trying to put out flames. He fails miserably. That's right. So it's now spreading up him. Melt in your own liquid hat, jerk bag. <laughs> Only one of you is gonna die. I didn't say one. Of You're the one. <laughs> You're <laughs> gonna die. You got fucked to death, Brian. Fucked to death in I'm your not mouth, Brian. My name's Gerald. <laughs> Gerald, you're gonna die too. You don't have a mouth to speak. You have a heart attack and die from the <laughs> cheeseburgers. <laughs> and World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft cheeseburger. <laughs> All right, so then it would be Ephraim. Uh, I guess I'll create a bonfire underneath of it. I mean, he's standing in a pool of molten metals. <laughs> Does it do anything? I don't know it how makes, magic... It makes more fire damage. It's more it. fire. Sure. I don't know how magic fire it's works. He's got to do a dex save. He's not All probably right. going to, but he doesn't. Okay. He takes an amazing, an astounding... One. Seven. <laughs> Ooh, ten damage. Ooh, he takes twenty. Wow. <laughs> All right. Burn. And he's... I'm going to burn you down, bitch. Uh, the two dwarves. Has he been taking, like, molten burning damage? Every? Yeah. Okay. He's been taking a lot Let's of burning damage. I start the Ready? Aim. Fellow. Dork. <laughs> Dork. Is it like a dex attack? Uh, it's still strength. Crit the 20. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you go, boom, and it shoots a flame, and it basically engulfs the rest of him in fire. Uh, to which he starts screaming wildly. Oh, oh it's a goo kebab. And he's throwing burning goo in, like, every direction. Oh. So Christ! Everybody do a dex save? 
Uh, I got an eight. Okay. Sixteen. Plus okay. two, you said? Yeah. No, it's a plus one. I said two for the charisma 13. scores. Okay. So everybody other than Ephraim gets hit with some... And by everybody, I mean the two NPCs get hit in the chest with like a burning black goo. Uh, so you are currently slightly on fire. You're going to take four damage. And you're going to take I don't four know damage. Uh, I'll roll it here. Level f- I was level three. You have eight health. Left or... No, total. So you just took four damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I rolled a d20. That's your health. Four. Can I roll my d20? Nope. Because you asked me. He rolls a d20. It's a one. (laughs) You're dead. (laughs) That would be gross. (laughs) Well, what would it have been? 20. Ah. So, uh, so yeah, so then it's back around to the monster, who is trying probably in vain. And it takes another... He thinks his song's about him? Actually, he does lessen the flames, but he can't put them all out. It takes another 12 damage from my bonfire. Yeah. He's... That's the least of his parts. And he's gonna keep flailing, burning goo everywhere. So everyone, do another deck save. Uh, oh, this traps. is like someone should take cover. Bonaru. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a seventeen. Got a fine. It's more like nine. Burning Man. Got a nine. Uh, um, translation is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen. Okay, so I thought it was festival. Grundlebeard <laughs> takes four more damage. I thought it was bur- <laughs> Bonaru. And oh, because Bonning Man. Uh, you take one ongoing fire damage. It hasn't been my turn yet. Oh, it hasn't been? Okay. Okay, then you don't take your ongoing damage. Uh, so then it'll be Ephraim's turn. I'm going to take cover behind something. I mean, you can leave too, but... <laughs> <laughs> behind the I want to see this through. <laughs> uh, I Look from around the corner. Through. Okay. All right, so... So I'll back up behind, like, some... I'll say the, there's carts in the corner. Yeah, and like something. That. Metal carts. Okay. You take cover behind a cart. Take cover, my dwarven friends. Your turns, dwarf friends. All right, Did Derek. You, I assume you put... Or no, you didn't get hit with any fire. So I Derek's going to try to put his fire out and also run to behind the cart. Yeah, me okay. as well. Okay. So what do I roll to put the fire out? Nothing. You just do it. Yeah, you just do it. Yeah, you just put the fire out. All right, you're both out of fire. Creature is not putting the fire out. He is in very, very bad shape. You suck, goose sucker! He's also puffing up. It takes another seven damage. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, no. he's taking a hundred damage every turn, so oh, you're seven. <laughs> it's just... It's a, helping! It's just a hundred. Damage over time! Okay, so... He's, he's expanding, pop. you say? He's expanding, he's and as he's expanding, more of that flaming goo seems to be shooting in every direction. Like So um, it's like all around you guys, sort of like a Jackson Pollock painting. Oh, hey, guys. We should get the fuck out of here. But... This was your idea. Ooh, I close. Ooh, haven't close. made the decision in a while. Ooh. We're all we're yeah, we got covered. No, I know. Ephraim do a deck save. Eighteen. You're fine. So oh. even though some of the goo is still like it's it's so much now that it is going like over it's everywhere basically. But you still managed to miss it. So yeah. So then it'll be your turn again. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay. Double move action. Out the door. Yep. Out the door. Move out the door. I'm leaving. Okay. Come Uh, with me if you want to live, dorkers. I follow that guy. Okay, so you both follow that guy. I assume. No, you just want to take it? I take out two daggers. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) You drax in it? Yeah. I'll let you do it if you want it. No, I leave. I want to see what happens, Pop. Okay. Then it'll be. for myself. (laughs) Its turn is not going to do anything. So the fire is now spreading up all the tendrils into the ceiling. Ten more damage. <laughs> Whatever. It, into the ceiling. So now the, the building itself is starting to... Um, like Anything that's not stone seems to be catching fire. It's getting very, very hot. You guys are running away, but you can still feel the heat. Mm, Hunger Games. Yeah. We get out of the doorway. Yep, so then you guys run the rest of the way out of the building. Mm-hmm. Okay, so on your turn, you guys run out of the foundry and... There's a gigantic horde of ghoulies. And we get eaten alive and everyone dies. Uh, there is a massive explosion as you feel like the, the ground shake and rumble and then the area of the foundry where it was explodes oh! and all the tendrils that went up into the ceiling uh, of the, the cave or whatever, they're all incinerated. Like It, it just travels up there like, uh, like a sparkler or something mm. like that. A fuse. A fuse, yes, a fuse. 
and the foundry burns and crumbles down pretty quickly. Mm. The ghoulies that weren't trying to come through the fence, that they're now all like shaking the fence and they seem to be <laughs> jack, 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 and shake, shake, shake. Oh, you know. uh, we have a lot of ghoulies out here, boys. Maybe the We're stuck between maybe a rock the, and a goo place. And the fence is like starting to waver forward. Do you have any kind Station. of tiny hut? Maybe cast it. I shall begin not casting it because I'm out of third level Shit. spells. Okay. Shit. So so yeah, now you see like the, the, the horde of ghoulies is starting to like break down the fence a bit. Maybe when the Let's run. maybe when the big goo dies, these all die with it. I hope so. But in me- in meantime, uh, let's uh, run that way. Oh, is that a furnace house? We should probably head that way. It furnace burned, house? It, it burned down. Shit! Wait, but <laughs> weren't there, like, cauldrons and stuff in it? Yeah. I'm sure there's Could we, like, go hide in the molten oh, cauldron? Hold on. Are you saying that we Indiana Jones for this? Uh-huh. Yeah. And hide oh, inside boy. the cauldron? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's uh-huh. do one of those. I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. We just gotta flip it over ourselves. Yeah. Okay. W- when we leave a little hole to breathe. Hmm? <laughs> Oxygen. I'm sorry, what? Dwarfs don't breathe. No. Yeah. Oh, I do. They breathe Cast rock underwater. Like rockfish. Water breathing. Well, yeah. Dust to breath. <laughs> Dust breath. No, that's a coal miner. <laughs> okay, so you're going in there looking for cauldrons? Something yeah. to hide under. Something cauldrons or a big okay. trough or... A mine cart, maybe? A mine cart that we can upend and... A there, refrigerator? There are four... Roughly people-sized cauldrons in there that are blackened, but not melted or burned or anything like mm. that. In the rundown building. Yep. That yep. I go hide under one. You have to. F- you have to flip them over. Well, well we just like got into it. I mean, you then... can just get in the top of it. No. I but then they, the monsters couldn't see us then, right? Are we still line of sight or no? Uh, the. I mean, they saw you go into the rubble, but I mean, mm. so. Twenty. Okay, so yeah, you push it over, and then I assume pick it up and then climb back in. Yeah, yep. like a turtle. Uh, sure, I'm do that too. Okay, Shit, that's strength great. check. I got a fifteen. Yeah, you man, you push and shove, and then it manages to <gasps> fall over. Clunk. Oh Christ! And then do just since it wasn't the best, roll another strength to see if you could pick it up enough to climb in. I also got a fifteen. Uh, okay, eighteen this time. Okay, yep, you do, and then same for Derek for a little beard. And I'm gonna dig a little Get tiny 16. hole for air. Yep, you're fine. You can do that. Like crab. So you're all covered by a cauldron. <laughs> uh, I plug my. I hold my ears closed too. Do you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then the other two get to do a perception check. Oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> mm, got a nine. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Okay. So you can hear in this. So everything's a little muffled in there, but. You can hear the the fence definitely falls, mm-hmm. but then at the same time you can hear people shouting, and it sounds like there's some sort of commotion that's not just the ghoulies. And you hear lots of yelling and screaming, and then the ghoulies, rah, 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 and then after about 30 to 45 minutes, it gets quiet. I write a note and give it to my crab and dig a hole and send okay. them to the other cauldrons and give the note to the guys. Okay. Should I, we go? You guys I see just, a crab come into the bottom of your cauldron with a note. Little, it's got a little it. note. It's got a post-it note? Yeah, it's got a note. I take the note. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I start sucking the eyes out of the crab. No. Um, yeah, I lift the, the cauldron up. Okay. Same Same. These. 20. Okay. 16. No. Okay, you're stuck. He goes... <laughs> And I'd lean down to the hole. Hey, you guys, what do I help me? I'm kind of stuck. See? You see a cauldron, like, just bobble a bit, but it doesn't move. But otherwise. I lift it. Okay. Tilt it. Push it over. 14? And you can lift it up a l- probably enough for Ephraim to be able to squeeze Derek it out. tries to assist with a botch. That's not how assist works. Try, tries to do the same thing yeah. with a botch. Nothing bad happens. He just slips and falls. Yeah. Hey, wait, if you lift and I lift, then we can do it. I assist. Yeah, I mean, no, you gotta I, 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 I said right. it was enough room for you to get out. I didn't want to you risk losing to squeeze a out. limb or something. Oh, your legs. It's been so long. <laughs> no. Take your crabs <laughs> No! It's That's just, actually, it's just a shell with eye stocks. <laughs> and arms. If you want legs, the only legs you can have are the crab legs. You basically like, like trans- my sized yeah. crab legs? 
Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Too late. That sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> Later. So, uh, so yeah. So you get out and Big crab wizard. <laughs> you can do a perception check if you want, or you can just wander around. All right. What the hell is going on out here? I got a sixteen. Eighteen. All of the ghoulies are dead, and there are a bunch of dwarven guards that seem to have like done battle with them. They saw the giant explosion. They saw the the tendrils burn. So they figured, you know, they they'd come in and clean up, I suppose. Oh, hey, guys! And they, they sort of, like, point their weapons at you, and they're like, Eh! Greetings, brothers! Are you guys ghoulies? Do we no. look like ghoulies? You do. No, I don't. You 100% like a look like a ghoulie. He's a fawn! Gerald, is that you? Yeah. Hey, you're a fucking ghoulie. Your mother was a ghoulie, too. Your wife doesn't think I'm a ghoulie, Benjamin. My <laughs> wife's been dead! <laughs> oh boy, I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, didn't we arrest you for corpse fucking a year ago? No. Stop fucking my wife's corpse. That was my brother Ephraim. <laughs> oh. What? What? I'm not even a dwarf. Did you fuck my wife's corpse? No, who are you? You fucked my wife. <laughs> Did you fuck my wife's corpse? You fucked my wife's corpse? No. <laughs> Benjamin, I thought you remarried. Derek. <laughs> who are you? Derek Grundlebeard. Oh, Grundlebeard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Grundlebeard. You married my cousin. No, yeah, no, I, I just had to kill her about five minutes ago. She was a ghoulie. Oh. Uh, Promise. She so. was a ghoulie. <laughs> she was living in that house over there with four other the ghoulies. The one over on the other side of the wall? Yeah, the one with the other, four other ghoulies. They were hiding in a <laughs> Those corner. Those were the window that said help. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were, were your still kids, alive. Ben. Well, that and the child support will die with them, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> That's secret. So anyways, what, what happened? We, we, uh, we heroically saved the town. Uh, yes. <laughs> Underneath these cauldrons. <laughs> it was my idea. Okay. I'm almost positive it was Grundlebeard's idea. Yeah, I, uh, it there was, was, so I explained, we went in and there was this guy who rhymed, who rapped at us. <laughs> <laughs> the rapper, the rapper. It was poetry jam. He poetry, poetry jammed, slammed poetry me. slammed at us and... He then got really huge. <laughs> he got swole. He got super swole. <laughs> he got swole. real popular. It, too popular. And okay. he had to be too stopped. Popular. Too popular. <laughs> That's why we had to kill him. He got too popular. And he had to be stopped. Okay. So we uh, we lit the old forge. And we told him to come here. Grumblebeard. And he listened? Everyone's like already listened idiot. to this. Jesus Christ. Everyone's already listened to this episode. We don't need to <laughs> recap it. <laughs> so, well, I saw him what happened. Well, uh, King's probably going to want to talk to you guys. That's, see what, see what was going on down here. Cool. Car? <laughs> Just switch from cool Russian to Zoltan German. cool. Isn't that how you say it in Dwarven? Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> So they, they take... <laughs> I speak Dwarven. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So you guys are just going to go with? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So they take you uh, all the way back through the city to the capital where the king is located. All of this place isn't is on fire. No. this It actually is a pretty nice city as far as technologically. It's, it's fairly advanced for the time, and uh, it's very prosperous. There's all kinds of different peoples. It's not like Merrick's podunk fuck town where it's just people and everyone else is slaves um so yeah so you you go through uh various ushers of guards till you get to the throne room and the king is there and he's like well hello God damn it <laughs> what happened uh we saved the city <laughs> we tell him what happened again <laughs> i tell him what happened he said well that sounds very heroic you guys ought to be rewarded or something. Why, why did all that happen? I, I'm not entirely sure of the whole background. <laughs> I joined a little late. The people that did know, they're long dead. Uh, <laughs> but I think uh, we're working for the holder of the Phoenix. Oh, them guys. Yeah, I know them. And, good uh, yep. Your crops were bad somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I've got this overcrop inspection badge oh, okay. and this journal, and uh, we burned down the old forge, and it killed a guy, and and the ghoulies are gone. So yeah, now the ghoulies are gone. We bring on you. the rewards. Sure. What do you want? I hadn't Crab really legs. thought about that. <laughs> I can give you books. Ooh. Like a whole wagon full of books. Ooh. Not even like a Red Rider wagon, but like a. 
I like a big people wagon. I like a books. <laughs> oh, now you're Japanese. That's Elvish. That's Elvish? <laughs> Japanese? Okay. You the Japanese is Elvish. Oh, yes, the books are so nice. So he... he. But I'll take whatever, really. I mean, magic items, uh, personal servants, you a, a whole lot of gold. You got a preference on magic items? Like I what mean, you like to use? I don't really use weapons they can turn my arms into blades kind of also can i sell all these garbage things to you for gold <laughs> was there a fear your human make no we wouldn't sell your hands with that. can i burn them then of course yeah i can give you i can give you this shield and oh. it's got a picture of like a you know how in theaters they have like the gold masks? There's like mm-hmm. the laughing man, the, the crying man. So yeah, sad. this one is like a laughing man. Oh. Is it so a that's, frog? That's the face. Huh. And uh, it looks like it's, it's it's golden, it's ornate, and it's built into the shield itself. So that's the shield. Okay, I'll take that. And looks then, cool. I can uh, surf on it or something. And he's like, the only other thing I got is this javelin. You take, give it to me. All right. He's I'll like, but be careful. It. It's shaped like a lightning bolt. Oh. Lightning jab. Yeah, be yeah. careful when you throw it. What is that? Well, and then he well, give me back. I'll show you. Okay, here. So he takes the javelin, and uh, he looks over at a statue of his uh, wife. He goes, ah, perfect. And fucking throws it, and the moment it leaves his hand, it basically just transforms into a bolt of lightning, and just goes right through the statue, causing it to explode. And then the javelin's stuck in the wall, but it's oh. like smoking. That is cool. Yeah, it's a pretty good javelin. Does it happen if I poke people with it? Uh, kind of. So he, he goes over and he, he takes the javelin and he just pokes another statue of his wife. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't explode. It just does like a shocking noise. Do you just build these things to destroy them? No. It seems like. No. Why don't you just get no? a, a divorce? A dwarf force. I don't know. A dowie wars. What are you talking about? It just happened to be there. I just picked that one out of random. They're all of your of wife. My pig wife. <laughs> There's a hundred at least in here. And I all love of her. her. But they're all destroyed. That one's covered in goo. <laughs> That's Ugh. my sister. Oh. That's weird. I'm ready to leave <laughs> now. Uh, these two fine bearded gentlemen should also receive uh, knighthoods and uh, uh, hookers. Is that Gerald? Yes. I'm going to give you a big old cheeseburger you can live right out of. <laughs> It'll take you at least an hour to eat. <laughs> now when you're fat. <laughs> I get it because he's fat. Because <laughs> he's fat. Get Good it? one, King. <laughs> High five. <laughs> And I, I, I kneel. Of course. Your grace, you're too kind. I know I am. The national anthem. Uh, uh, oh, and look, it's got pickles and everything. Yeah, it's, pickles the size of wagon wheel. I think it's been dipped in mayonnaise. It's a sandwich full of mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to help slide down the throat better. Yeah. Make it slide good. Exactly. King. We know you. Uh, this is why I voted for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, Derek, what do you want to do? Yeah, what do you want, Derek? Do you want to come adventuring with me? We could be friends. You want to be an 8 health NPC? <laughs> <laughs> if I could get some new clothes and a pass to leave the city, that would be fine. And yeah, lots oh, of gold. Oh, my... my most, most honorable King Grace Dwarf Man. Yep. Can I get just like a pass that says I can do everything? What? Like, I don't want to be king. I just don't want to have to pull out a different pass every time we leave the city and I want to do... Wait, no, you just leave. He's talking about permits outside the city. Yes. Oh, that's still a thing? I want a permit. Permit. Oh, uh, okay. In all, all... A permanent permit. Yes. Now, wait, for all things. That, that book wagon you got, that's got my seal on the side. That motherfucker just get right out of the way. Oh, and if it don't, it's got a little ringy-ding bell on the side. You better watch out. Little ringy-ding bell? Ring-a-ding bell. What does it do? Uh, well... You bring it dings. You ring it. And it drives all horses crazy with lust. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And fuck them to death. Just like my erotic <laughs> fan fiction. Have you ever heard of Mr. Hand? I wrote that book. Well, that's what's going to happen. I wrote the book on Mr. Hand. <laughs> 
It was an interesting research opportunity. Yeah. So many. He says as long as you ring that bell in the city, then my my moleman will get them. Moleman. Yep, I got. They're like horses, but they're moles. Can I have a few? No, they're mine. Well, like this one, like I gave you a wagon book. Like, Book wagon. I know. But they <laughs> saved your kingdom. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want the mole man. Wait, well, it's not a man per se. I just like call them mole man. What what is it? It? They're just <laughs> moles? <laughs> it's just fun to say. Are they just giant moles? No. Voles? He, he claps and. Gophers. It's basically like a gimp suit. It's like a guy in a mole gimp suit. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> He's like, he'll get him. You ring that bell, he'll come and he'll get him. <laughs> Can I give the bell back? <laughs> I mean, if you want. No, I'll, I'll take, take it. it. No, no, that's, no, no, no. Fine. that's mine now. It summons men in Zentai's. I like They're vicious. It. <laughs> They're vicious. <laughs> They're vicious. <laughs> They'll tear you apart, okay? Uh, Don't fuck with a moment. Can I? Okay. Well, that's awesome. Uh, are we done here? I mean, yeah. Oh, you... wait. Grumblebeard. Oh, yeah. What, yeah you, what do you want? You said you want gold in the... What? Clothes? Yeah, you are naked. Eh, Whatever. Well, I'm going to take all of these wondrous items and knowledge and go, I'm not sure, probably back to Knights of Phoenix. Who Hold knows? on, brother. What? Who are you? Your lordship. Yep. <laughs> there have been going-ons and things going on. <laughs> this is your gun character, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> going on outside of our walls yeah. that need to be seen to. Well, yes. And I, brother... I'm the one to look after it for you. So by your leave, I will go with these men. We'll get up and go. I think it's just me. Get up and go. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay here. I mean, I got a cheeseburger full I, of mail. I do have crab. Bloop. But yeah, you can go and help him. Oh yeah. Whatever brother. he seems to be doing, then you can come back if you want. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's your life. Yeah, st- strange macho man, dwarven savage. What the? <laughs> Tell him, your, Tell your him. name, Sachi Vamen. What? What? <laughs> First off, Sachi. S a c h y. Sachi. My name, dude. My dude. name. Oh. My name, brother, is Sachi Vamen. Well, Sachi, you go on and help him. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Come along, Sachi. Sackman. Let me get my things. So, yeah. Put them in my book wagon. We can talk about our feelings. And sure. Maybe talk about what you love. So you guys load up the book wagon, head on out, and nobody bothers you in the uh, shanty town as you head out. I ring the, the bell. <laughs> and point at... <laughs> wait, wait. Where's the... And they're like, no! Go past the brothel. It's the sound. <laughs> ring the bell. <laughs> and uh, burrowing through the ground are the moldmen that pop out. And they just leap on people and just start ripping them to pieces. I like this place. <laughs> so, so yeah, so you guys head on out of the shanty town towards. You said you're heading back towards the Knights of Phoenix. Okay, so you're heading back that way. And as they do, we're gonna call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next time. Come see Botch live at DragonCon 2018. Mm. More details to come as I'm allowed to release them. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Botch Podcast. Thanks to the people who support us over at patreon.com slash botch podcast. Like Jim Beverly, hey man, thanks for upping your pledge. And please head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. Like our recent lunatic, Missouri Mule, he says awesome podcast. I listened to Botch on my long commutes home from work. A couple times I had to pull over to the side of the interstate because I was laughing so hard. Oh, yeah. That amputee leg session was absolutely (laughs) hilarious. Go fuck yourself! (laughs) (laughs) And as always, brother, when you see a right that needs to be wrong, oh, a wrong that needs to be righted, (laughs) you leave your dwarven fortress and you go to that outside world and you help that Russian. See you next week, nerds. Yeah, 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 yeah
Thanks for listening. (laughs) (laughs) That's the whole show. Did the whole show. Two seconds.